Hey guys, welcome to this episode of The Rachel Cruz Show. So today I have my friend, fellow Ramsey personality, George Campbell, back on the show. Thanks well, for having me back. George, we're together a lot these days. We are. I mean, Smart Money Happy Hour, Ramsey Show, Rachel Cruz Show, the party never stops. The party never stops. So today specifically, though, we're going to be talking about something that is near and dear to our hearts. Probably more near and dear to George's heart than mine, but we can get there. That is about pets. Mm. So we're going to go over how much pets are actually costing you and us, because again, we both have pets. And then we'll talk about some ways to actually save money on pet costs. So they're expensive, those little furry friends. And especially (laughs) Americans, especially, like heavy pet culture. We spend so much on pets. Americans spend about $109 billion on their pets in 2021. There you go, y'all. I mean. It's a big number. That's in one year. One year. In one year on pets on everything. We love our animals. We really do. Yep. And the average pet owner spends about $126 a month on their pets. So that adds up to about $1,500 a year. It's yeah. pretty wild. And pets, they actually cost money when you purchase them. Now, mm-hmm. unless you adopted, awesome, low fees there. But if you average purchase price, about $282. And for some, that's on the low side. Yeah. I was good. <laughs> I know. This one right I here. wish. I wish I spent that much. Yeah, that's that feels like reasonable. Yeah. 280? Yeah. That's like a and reasonable. And obviously cats are less expensive because always they're less wanted. They're cats. That's so, fine. I know there's a lot of cat people watching. You, are you have you had any cats in your life? No. Never owned Me a cat. Me neither, George. Never owned. What's the name? I knew. Yeah. I knew we were good friends. I had nothing against cats. I, just I do. I don't have a lot for cats. So per month, the cat, if you own a cat, it costs about ninety two dollars. Well, a dog costs about. Close to 140 a month. And 45% Ooh. of American pet owners spend about the same amount on their pet's health care per year than their own. Oh, my goodness. Now, that's a tricky one. I Winston and I have a dollar amount, which I will not share with you all publicly because I feel like y'all would get mad at me. Yeah, that's true. Of, like, how much would you spend on your oh, dog? Like, before, this is the be- limit. Before like- it's like, ah. Dave has said, he's like, hey, listen, I love Fido, but if it's, you know, 10 grand to get Fido surgery, Fido's gone. Wow, he really? Said that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said that. <laughs> that's, so. uh, that's actually a lot of money, $10,000. Yeah, and then some of the surgeries these days can I cost know, that. It's I pretty know. Nuts. Well, it's funny because they spent money replacing their golden retrievers to hips. Oh. And I feel like cost, not maybe not quite that, but close yeah. to it. It's a lot. Yeah. Dave's a softie on the inside. <laughs> But Fido's out of here. <laughs> it's a certain amount. All right. And one of the main categories that people spend money on when it comes to their pets, of course, is food. And again, that's about 55% of people Ooh. spending money on their pet is when it comes to food. Yep. And then you've got healthcare, vet costs, toys, accessories that all fill in the rest. Accessories. Hey, what kind of uh, accessories do you have? And tell everyone your, what kind of dogs Okay. You have. So we have two French bulldogs, Olive and Blue, about two years old. And one year old, very sweet, very expensive. And <laughs> where'd you get them? One we got in Paris, Texas, from a breeder. And one I we thought got, you were about to say Paris, not France. Paris, France. We're I not thought. that. A French bulldog that would have been. Perfect. I know. Mind blown. I've yeah. never thought about that. The other one we got in Kentucky, near oh, Louisville. So there's some southern gals. Yeah. Both girls. A uh, boy and a girl. Olive is a girl. Blue, Blue. is a boy. Oh. So we've got B- a nice mix. B L U E. Yes. Okay. We got them to like socialize with each other so that we didn't have to constantly play. It's all so much work. It's so so much and, work. and you, Rachel, this I is more know. recent for you. Yes. So we got a new puppy. We had to put our lab Nala down. She was 12 years old. So I know sweet. it was terrible, y'all. Man, when you like, when you have a dog, and again, Winston's more of like the dog lover. Like between us two, it's like Winston. You could live oh, without I, a dog. You'd I think okay. I could. Yeah. For like at least a long period of time. I think I eventually would want one again, but I'm like not in a rush. But even all that to say though, it was terrible when we had been all down. It was terrible. Um, but we just got yes, a new dog. She's probably six months old now. Um, a I'm gonna say the full name so I can Please. be bougie. Are you ready? A English working cocker spaniel. Mm-hmm. So it's not the one with like the American. That's kind of the pug not face. one of those unemployed dogs. <laughs> this is a working dog. Okay, provides for the family. It does it's a hunting? It's a flusher. A what now? It's a flusher dog. What are they flushing? Go, George. That's a hunting term. You okay. got that? And her name? Juniper. Juniper. 
both hard June. Love that. And she's beautiful. She kind of looks like a mini golden retriever, honestly. Yeah, and beautiful color. She is. Kind of like a copperish. Yep. Mm. Really red. But yeah, red is actually dogs a good are good. Phrase. Like considering dogs don't shower, they're just like good looking comparatively to people. You know what I mean? <laughs> The average dog, more attractive than the average human. That's all I'm going to say. Wait, are you serious? That's a hot take. George likes dogs way better than humans. I love it's dogs. unbelievable. Okay, yeah. so how much would you say that you spend on your dogs uh, every month, George? Each month. Okay, I did the math because, you know, you got to add it up. I went to my every dollar budget. And, and Shout I, out. And I appreciate this. We're going to be honest. Can we be honest with you all? Because everyone's like, be real, be authentic, be yourselves. And then sometimes when we are, people don't like it. They're so. angry. And let's say this. We've been following the Ramsey plan for a long time. Yes. And so we're not it's, broke. We have money to spend on things that we want to spend money on. So, and dogs are one of those. Yes. Fair? And yes, and you and you, you and Whitney, dinks, dual yes. income, no kids. So they just got some money coming in. Yes. And it's like, what you going to do with what it? What you going to do? Spend it all on our dogs. Olive and blue. So I uh, average it out. Food, about 62 bucks a month. They need special vet diet food. Because Frenchies have a lot of allergies. <sighs> And are so they you, mini? Are they like? They're small. They're like 20 pounds a piece. So they're little things. small chunks. Really cute. So food, 62 bucks. Treats and toys, I'm going to say 13 bucks a month. We don't really do a lot for <laughs> treats and toys. Uh, nail trim, we do that occasionally. We try to do it ourselves. We bought the little grooming yeah. tool. Yeah. We, <laughs> when we went to Snip, Olive yelled like a human being. And it ricocheted across the house. And I have, ne- I said, you never, said never again. again. <laughs> never again. I would pay thousands of dollars to get my dog's nails trimmed after that experience. It was traumatic for everyone. Else. <laughs> so, nail trimming. George, you're, you're, when you become a dad, not a dog dad, like a, like a human yeah. dad, uh, you're not going to be able to, like, when your kids cry, you're going to be like, oh, I have to go get them. But, like, a blood-curdling scream, it's just, from a dog, That's it's so innocent. Okay, so there's that. Then there's, you know, vet appointments. We have... Sinking funds for that. And then dog sitting is the biggest expense. Daycare and dog sitting. Do they go every day? No, no. Uh, Monday, Fridays usually. And then oh, someone comes like at lunch and we'll walk them other, other days. Oh, that's good. And then we're with them on the weekends. I appreciate but that. But that adds up. It does. Are you going to Are we going to share? share? Are, yeah, I'm going to pull okay. mine up now. This is brutal. We can edit this out if it's too much for y'all to handle. <laughs> but on average, I think we'd probably spend close to 700 bucks a month between all that. Now, without dog sitting, it would be like dirt cheap. But the dog sitting is the brunt of that. Yeah. Okay, hey, are you, dual are you income, ready to no share? Dual income, no kids. Dual income, no kids. George, there's no judgment on my hands. Some okay. people back here might be judging. But me, judgment-free zone, George. Thank you. Live like no one else so later you can live and give to your dogs. And be a dog owner. Like, like no one else. else. So one of the things I always hate thinking about, what if something happens to me? What if something happens to my husband, Winston? What's gonna happen to the family? There is a great solution, you guys, that really takes that part of worrying and stress and the not good feeling, kind of puts it at ease. And that is term life insurance. And Winston and I personally use Xander Insurance. And they're the best. They make the whole process, you guys, so easy. You give them your information and they go and they shop the top rated companies for the best policy for you and your family's needs. So no one should go without term life insurance. So go check out Xander Insurance. Just go to xander.com to make sure that your family's future is taken care of. Okay, let's find. I'm on my This is such app. a drum roll moment. I know. Okay, Juniper. I'm so curious. Wow. I'm going to be honest real quick. Okay, I have, if this is correct, George, in August, oh, I'm no. going back. I'm so going we back. We spend $12 a month on June. Look at this. We budgeted oh, 100 my How many? How much did we spend? Zero dollars. Zero in August. I don't know what that means. What are you trying to get a gold star on I'm your own saying, show? I'm just saying. Okay, then we went on, in September, we went out of town so here's what we spent. This dog is just. So we spent that. Okay. For her to go somewhere. Yeah. Two hundred and eighty dollars. That's not bad. When we were out of town to go somewhere. There you go. Uh, what else? Juniper. Oh, here's another one. Here's some food. Thirty-two dollars and eighteen dollars oh, and sixty cents for something else from Amazon for her. Great. So we spent fifty-one dollars. You guys as are well. doing really well. I mean, I, it, it feels a little bit better than the seven hundred, but again, this is a judgment-free zone, George. That's true. Judgment-free zone. Yeah. Hey, I'm proud of you. It adds up. Confession and, and accepting. Now, if, if one of us stayed really home and we could just hang out with the dog, and some people are like, just leave the dogs for nine hours, I can't do that emotionally. I'm sorry. They're tiny. They have tiny bladders, and they need to get their energy out. Yeah. So hey, that's part of no it. No shame. If you got the money, 
That's right. Do what so you want to do. So we budget for this in every dollar for dog sitting and food and vet bills and all this stuff. All of it, all of it, all of it. Okay, so that's a little bit of the breakdown of what we feel. But medical is always a big deal. We kind of talked about that earlier. Yes. Pet insurance. Yep. Is it worth it? This is a hard one for me. It I is. can go back and forth. I'll be honest. I will speak from experience. Now, the Ramsey stance, let me put that out there, sure. is that pet insurance isn't worth it. You should just have a sinking fund for your pet, which is great advice. When we got our French Bulldogs, we were so scared because we've heard stories. It's like buying a used Range Rover. It's like buying a used luxury car, and you know it doesn't get good fuel economy. It's going to be in the shop and be very expensive, so we were scared. And so we got like a wellness insurance plan for the first year just in case. Oh, that's good. A little buffer. Yes. And so I will say now that I've done the math— the insurance plan is not worth it. And so we're dropping Wow, that's dropping a testimony. It. It's a testimony to the fact that, because there's like a $1,000 deductible and there's a 5,000 limit and there's waiting periods. Like there's all these caveats. Yeah. And they only reimburse a certain percentage. So overall, most insurance plans aren't worth it and you're better off just putting money into a sinking fund and using that to take when care of it. When something happens, yeah. that's so good. Which, which is why I say like, if you're in baby step one through three, you're in debt, you don't have your emergency fund, it's not a great time to be a pet owner. I would honestly wait until you're in a better spot financially because animals deserve better. You know, like you want to yeah. be able to take care of them financially. It's not fair to the animal. So that's my big caveat with all that's that. That's good, George. Well, I appreciate the pet insurance. insurance. That's like a real life testimony. Yes, and if you so. do have it, make sure you submit every single receipt and you stay on top of it because we did good on the wellness plan. We made sure to take advantage of it to where we were right. we broke even. It's good. good, good but it's good. hard to do. But overall, not worth it. No. All right. So, what are some of your tips, though, George, on pet care in general? Mm, this is a big one. So, number one, if you're willing and able to do the grooming yourself, that is a huge. That's one of the biggest expenses aside from food. It's hard to like skimp on. We do like auto delivery. To you can save five or ten yeah. percent on some of these auto delivery if you do it once a month. So we do that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, grooming is the biggest expense. And then if you have a neighbor that is from the kindness of their heart willing to go let them out, that helps too. Instead yes. of having to pay someone. Totally. Yeah. The grooming thing. We've never paid really for a groomer. Like we just we always wash. Yeah. Yeah. Water hose, shampoo. Yeah. Spray them off. I, I didn't, Easy. but now there's like vans that like oh, travel. Oh, the mobile grooming vans. Yeah. I looked now, into I those. Now I will say, if I had to expensive. cut our dog's hair, because we oh, don't like do, the haircuts. That that would be a tough, yeah. a tough expense. We got short hair dogs, so you don't, don't have, have to, to deal worry with about that it. as much. That's but. true, that's true. So another great tip for saving money is to stop buying all of these toys and treats. They are dogs. They're happy to chew on cardboard. And so what we found out was our dogs love vegetables. And so we'll just let you know, Cut up some pepper and just feed them little pieces of pepper. Obviously, Google everything. Make sure that there's no allergies, that dogs can't have these foods. But it's a really cheap way instead of buying super expensive treats. Yeah. And they love it. And it's healthy. And it's super healthy. healthy. So in moderation. But there you go. So you don't have to go buy all these toys and treats. That's so good. It's like kids. They have enough toys. Yes. That's not the answer. That's true. So another saving tip, before you have a dog or before you have an animal, a pet, Look at a shelter because a lot of those places, yeah, there might be some very small fees, but for the most part, I mean, adopt, adopt a dog. Oh yeah, that's a, you don't have to go buy one from a breeder. Um, so definitely, that's a that's a great option. But if you do have a specific, you know, breed in mind, that that's what you want. Then when you then when you look at breeders, make sure you look at the gamut because it can be man so expensive to really cheap. So do your research because you can really save some money even by the breeder that you pick. And don't fall for scams. There's so many scams out there with breeders. So do your due diligence. Do not just send people money willy-nilly without ever seeing dogs. That's a great point. This is huge. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to boarding, this is a big one. Obviously, boarding costs can be astronomical. You're talking $50 to $100 per day to stay. And Rover has been a great app that we've used in the past to find people to come watch them, to come visit, let them out. That can be way more affordable than that. And then once you connect, you can connect offline and have a long-term relationship with that person and get even more discounted pricing. Yeah, that's a great, great point. And I even love using kids in the neighborhood. Yes, like the that's my that go-to. Yes, I Hosting know. your neighborhood Facebook group. And they love it. The kids love it, especially if they don't have a dog. And they're like, they come play with your dog. So sweet. And you pay them like, yeah, I don't know. Five bucks, four. ten bucks, a let out. Yeah. What do you pay? I was about to say like $30, $40. Well, if they're like there a for day. hours. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying for a quick let out. And yeah. to an 11-year-old kid, that's a lot of money. So And it's easy money. It's helpful. 
Okay, so you keep talking about sinking funds, so explain specifically what that is. Yeah, so of course, with any expense, we want you to budget for it every single month, have a line item, and so with a sinking fund, all that means is you are putting money every single month to cover a larger expense down the road. So if you have a $400 expense that's four months from now, you need to save $100 per month. So the same goes with dogs. Instead of having an expensive insurance plan, put that $50 into a sinking fund in your budget so it sits in your bank account, and that $50 bucks adds up every single month. To the, you know, When you have an emergency or an yeah. expense, a vet visit, you have that money ready to go, and you're not freaking out. You're not having to dip into the emergency fund because you weren't aware it was going to happen. So this is a great way to budget for your pets and actually track this stuff. Pets can get out of control and you want to go get the Halloween costume and you start getting crazy. But remember, it's an animal. It doesn't know the difference. That's right. Okay, last but not least, coupons, you guys, and buy one, get one free sales happen a lot for dog food, pet food. So make sure you stay on the lookout for that because that's another great way to, yeah, save some money. So, Mm. George, how do you feel? I feel like I got a lot off my chest. You Um, feel nervous, though? I guess, but you know what? People the people are going to judge. Right? That's the internet for you. But the real pet owners, they get it. They're like, they get it. This guy takes care of his animals. That and is true. Let me ask you: Does your dog sleep in the bed with you? No. Okay. Nala did before kids, but no June uh, crate for probably the first year. Wow. Yeah, that's a Winston thing. You got to be the training is hardcore. Winston is militant. And, but then she has her bed in our room, so eventually, hopefully, she'll be able to go and sleep. I how, guess how are not, you? You got you got two next yeah, to you. Yeah, we're they're very spoiled. And they shed? Uh, not a, not a ton. Okay. Not and they're light hair. So Whitney and I both very little people, but we upgraded <laughs> to king size because for the dogs because dogs, they were taking up so much room. Where do they sleep? Do they sleep on the on the edge like they'll, at the foot of the around. bed? Oh. They'll usually the edge next to us, edge or in between us. In between. Yeah, I know. Listen, we're. I know. I know. We should. Go. Dr. John Deloney's always like, you guys need to go to therapy. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> But it's a good time. We love our pets, don't we? We love our dogs. So make sure to share this video with a friend who wants to save money on their pet expenses and drop any of the other pet saving tips that you have in the comments because, you know, we will be reading them. And leave the judgment at the door, okay? <laughs> don't leave it at the oh, comments. Yes. Well, this has been fun. George, thanks for being here. Thank Where you. Where can everyone find you? Uh, well, of course, on the Smart Money Happy Hour with Miss Rachel Cruz, as well as at uh, George Camel on Instagram is another great place to connect. I love it. And of course, The Ramsey Show. You can yeah. find us there You're having there. a good time find answering your questions. Podcasts too. Yeah. So much stuff. Well, thanks again, George. Remember, you you guys, to take control of your money and create a life you love.